I am now recording. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. You ready? You ready for this? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even ready. Good thing Jeez. I am. Hey, everyone. <laughs> this is Smelly Jelly over here with the, with the scoop of poop. Okay, well, that's going in the final cut, because this is uncut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep, completely uncut, so. <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, pulling up the IMDb. Okay. All right, my friend. What is IMDb? It's this kind of cool website. It tells you about <laughs> movies. <laughs> Welcome all you Rugrats to the, the <laughs> podcast is so hard. Do the podcast, 90s uh, first. Yeah, this is Jelly. Lot. That's Mike. Oh, thanks for the intro. <laughs> Um, welcome everybody to the 90s first at the movies uh, I am joined by Jelly Yes, he's over there Good I'm to have somewhere. you back Jelly After uh, missing you last week How was Yo, your Glad vacation? to be back uh, Vacation was great It was nice to uh, escape California for a little bit Get up into Idaho and uh, enjoy the 4th of July That's good, good. Was it a nice fireworks show? Yo, so good It's like three and a half hours There you go <laughs> Wait, th- three and a half hours? Yeah, you heard that correct. Three and a half hours of fireworks. Was it like legit fireworks too? Legit fireworks, mortars Dang. all around us, literally all oh. three sixty degrees from where we were at at our friend's house, all around us, fireworks for until one thirty a.m. That's actually insane. It was amazing. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> um, well. Uh, you excited to talk about our second movie for Yo, Nights yes. First Out of Movies? <laughs> I'm so <laughs> stoked for it. Um, so this is a movie that I had never seen, um, but I know, right? Um, but bits and pieces. So I had a bunch of scenes that, you know, after watching, I certainly remembered, but I've never watched it from, you know, the start to finish, you know? in one sitting so this was actually really good to get into um and jelly yes. do you want to you want to kind of say what our movie is uh yeah we're gonna keep the theme here with fourth of july it's independence day the original <laughs> not resurgent obviously because that's not a 90s movie but yeah, will smith the 90s <laughs> yeah bill pullman will smith vivic a fox the cast the crew independence day it's fantastic <laughs> And I couldn't believe you hadn't seen it start to finish before. I know, I know. Um, actually, kind of insane. Um, <laughs> considering, considering, I'm a huge, uh, you know, sci-fi buff. Um, but right? What yeah. is going on? Um, and to be frank, and I'll, um, it has a 59 on Metacritic. What? Uh, wise. Um, to be frank, I. Um, I wish that I had seen it earlier, you know, from start to finish, like oh, uh, yeah. quick, quickly rose um, to, you know, probably top 10 sci-fi film for me. I really, really enjoyed it. So, um, oh, it's so anyway, good. here's the, uh, here's the bumper really quick for Independence Day. It says the aliens are coming and their goal is to invade and destroy earth fighting superior technology. Mankind's best weapon is the will Smith to, to survive. <laughs> it's the will Smith. To survive. <laughs> uh, terrible fun. They must Once be again. a dad. <laughs> um, Will Smith uh, stars as Captain Stephen Hiller, Bill Pullman as the president, uh, Thomas J. Whitmore, Jeff Goldblum um, as David Levinson, and Mary McDonald as Marilyn Whitmore. Um, so yeah, we got it. We got a decent, uh, you know, forecast here. Uh, this is this was a good movie, Jelly. Um, overall, what are your opinions on this movie? Let me hear them. Uh, so I, unlike you, had seen this movie basically since it came out. My family, my dad especially, was a huge sci-fi nerd. 
So I watched it since I was a kid and got to enjoy, uh, got to enjoy it from, yeah, basically probably 10, maybe younger the first time I saw it. And I have loved it ever since. It's a killer movie. It's amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, but it is the uh, iconic 4th of July Independence Day movie that I have watched every year since then, since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's it's truly it was really it was really awesome. I was just I was just having fun, and even even the, in the lulls of the movie, the um, you know the slower bits, uh, I think. And a lot of a lot of those slower bits, you know, included Pullman uh, as the president, and really oh, yeah. just his. Is he not the best president? Like one of the, he's got to be top five presidents in movie history. Um, yeah, like, movie movie presidents. He definitely <laughs> takes he takes part of that top ten for sure. Dude, uh, I, like just he kills it. His character he was absolutely one kills it. Young and relatable. So everyone kind of gets the feel for it, and then two, he was a badass. The dude was a was a fighter pilot turned president. Yeah. I mean, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, obviously at the beginning, um, Pullman's character is, uh, you know, the president is truly under microscope uh, because he is the young guy. Um, oh he yeah, is the election guy. year. Yeah, <laughs> he's the. He's the young guy, you know, who's who's president. He doesn't have a lot of experience under his belt besides being a fighter pilot. But uh, in the end, he becomes the president that the people needed. You know. Oh yeah, he's he is for sure the people's president. I mean, he became it, the the man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and obviously, if you haven't seen the movie, spoilers are gonna gonna be coming here. Um, spoiler alert, you know warning warning um but yeah he he practically saves the day him and him and you know will smith's character and jeff goldblum like he decides the president like how cool is it that the president hops into a fighter plane and goes goes to war against these aliens like i I Uh, thought that was just so cool (laughs) (laughs) and the the general was like uh what are you doing i'm a fighter pilot (laughs) It's like, yeah. you're not going to argue with him. He's the president. Yeah. So what does he do? He just jumps in a jet. He's like, cool, I'm going to go shoot some aliens. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Jelly, um, we read the bumper, but what, um, you know, for those who are listening who may not know, what's what's kind of like the overall plot? What's the, what's the mission of the aliens? And then what's the response by the uh, Americans and the, the human population? All right, like you said before, huge spoiler alerts. Everyone go watch the movie first before you listen to this, please. But this movie, The Alien Race, we don't learn until later, but we've had several captives held in jars, specimens, at Area 51. And so the aliens are probably a little peeved about that. But basically they (laughs) go from, from planet to planet and use up all the resources and then just move on. Destroy the Destroy the world. And then bounce. Pretty uh, typical kind of alien thing in books and movies. But this one happens to be uh, Mothership controls all these extra satellite ships and sends them out all over the world for the strategic attack where they take out all these pivotal structures all over the world, everywhere, kind of crippling our defenses. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then, you know, the, the... uh, not quite the uh, the climax of it, but like the buildup is, is can we reach resolve as humans to come together to defeat this uh, this onslaught from the extraterrestrial people? Yeah, uh, we can because Will Smith, because Bill Pullman as president, those two are the reason that we're able to, to fight off and defeat the uh, the alien scourge who have come to destroy us. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to spoil too much for the people, but there's a lot of explosions. There's some super badass like fighter pilot chases and some cool aerial things. There's interview with an alien. It, it's got everything. It's got everything that anyone who's into sci-fi wants from a movie. 
Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think it's one of, one of the most fun, uh, times that I've had watching a sci-fi film. Uh, you just, you have very, I think you have interesting characters. Um, Jeff Goldblum's, Jeff Goldblum's character really stands out to me. Um, just because he he's ultimately a scientist who definitely figures out the issue and you know the way yeah. way to the defeat the aliens but uh, his character is David uh, Levinson but yeah I think it's I think one of the coolest one of the coolest parts about his character is that his ex-wife is the president's like oh what's advisor like the pre- like the president's uh, assistant secretary that type of thing yeah she seemed to be and, sort of the press secretary but yeah so he has a history with the president and oh, just yeah. seeing this like just seeing this already fractured relationship um, come together eventually to solve how to defeat these aliens I, I really like Jeff Goldblum's character specifically, probably the most out of any any character. But prob- mm, I might like the president a little bit more. Say but, Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman's pretty amazing in this. One. Um, his, his his presidential role. But what what did you think about uh, David Levinson, Jeff Goldblum's character, Julie? Uh, it was great. Uh, I mean, he's the first one that we really get to meet in the movie. Uh, opens up. You know, alarms go off, and and it's and it's him who we see. We see Jeff Goldblum, and and there's a problem. We don't really want, know what the problem is yet, and so he discovers the problem. He relates the problem to us, the audience, you know, via third parties. But we get to see what's coming and what's happening because of him. Uh, he's a uh, what MIT grad, super smart, genius dude, mm-hmm. and uh, kind of. You know, just took a back seat when his la- relationship went to, went to down the down the old poop chute, yeah. and he's working at like a cable company, and it basically looks like a weatherman, a glorified weatherman, just kind of yeah. looking over all this data that comes in. Uh, but his character turns out to be, yeah, one of the most crucial parts of the whole movie because he's he's the guy who who cracks the code who figures out what they're here for. He's the one who, uh, him and his dad come up with a plan to, uh, get a virus on the ship. He discovers Mm -hmm. that their code is binary, which is like the most simplistic. So it's ones and zeros. So what he does is at least what I've read up on it is what he does is he just reverses the ones and zeros. Yeah. They're thereby crippling the aliens entire, uh, ability to, to communicate. And all of the information that they're sending is now opposite. So every time they're sending attack, it's defend. And every time they're sending put the shields on, it's turn them off. And and yeah, his character was amazing. And then the the back and forth uh, between him and, and Judd Hirsch, who plays his dad, and then Will Smith, uh, fantastic. Jeff Goldblum is one of the best... Uh, like off script actors and uh and his dialogue back and forth his his repertoire with them was fantastic was so good just yeah. you know made the movie mm-hmm. yeah and then you uh you have the nerd and then you have the macho kind of meeting uh together yeah. in, in uh <laughs> david and will smith's character um let's see what's his name uh captain steven, steven heller yeah um, Will Smith, uh, it, you know, this has got to be one of my favorite Will Smith movies now. Um, I think, I think his character is, is pretty grounded, you know, even, even though he's a, f- a flight, a fight, you know, f- the, yeah, a fighter yeah, pilot. Un- yeah, yeah, there you go. This is uncut. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I got your, I got your back. Uh, <laughs> He flies planes. <laughs> he's, a, he's a plane flyer. Plane flyer. He's one of the best plane flyers there ever is. He flies those things to the to the moon. Bang zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, little uh, little honeymooners there for you. Um, that's not nineties. 
Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, Will, Will Smith's character subject. is really good. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Hiller. Um, Stephen Hiller, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the stereotypical, like loner character like he's he's been a fighter pilot for such a long time um doesn't necessarily want to settle down because he's always been high up you know and so yeah in the beginning um, he's trying to become a uh, astronaut isn't he isn't that uh, yeah. what he's waiting on yeah you know he's trying to become an astronaut and uh come to find out nasa doesn't want him and to be frank, probably after this movie, you know, NASA hires him, I can almost guarantee. Um, let's be real. He heads up the um, Space Force. <laughs> but one, but once again, you get uh, you get a character that, um, despite he's, you know, one of the bigger action portions of this movie, Go he has a... Go watch your iPad. He has a pretty interesting um, and compelling like, uh, story with... Uh, the girl that he's trying to trying to marry, or Vivica like A. Fox. Think, yes, yeah, sir. Like Jasmine. thinking of thinking about proposing. Um, so, I I enjoy Will Smith's character. He has some different facets to it that really really make it stand out as one of his probably better roles. Um, yeah, a little more depth than career. just uh, basic. He's not just a fighter pilot. You know, they gave him yeah. a little bit more than just. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a macho dude who flies planes. They gave him more depth, you know. Do I want a family? Do I want kids? Do I want yeah. do I want this? What kind of future do I want? I thought I wanted this, but do I really actually want that? And mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it was nice to see him play. Uh especially this is coming off of uh Fresh Prince. So they just, you know, wrapped up Fresh Prince so we get uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air basically <laughs> becomes a fighter pilot. And shows that, hey, he's not just, you know, he's not just the Fresh Prince. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not all he is. And I think it worked. I think that he did a, a great job in this role. Uh, showcasing that he's more than just a funny, goofy guy. You know, yeah. the, the wacky character. Yeah. Um, so, this has got... How, how many movies really truly have... Um, an Area Fifty One story. This has got uh, this has got to be one of the better Area Fifty Ones, huh? Uh, not counting the B list movies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you count those, uh, there's there's too many. But but out of no. some, and I would consider this an A list movie based on cast alone. But based on the no. the movie itself, I would also consider it a definite A list movie. And I would say this has one of the better, sto- you know, Area 51 stories that uh, that were given, and kind of a little, you know, fun history about it and what they've been doing there. Uh, I yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, their telling of what Area 51 is. Yeah, and you know that scene where uh, <laughs> you know they're all arguing whether or not Area 51 actually exists, and then. Um, the president's, you know, secretary of defense or whatever. He's like, yeah. uh, actually, sir, well, you need to see something. <laughs> <laughs> We've been keeping a secret from you, the president, uh, yeah, because you're well, young and we for, don't like you. <laughs> for many presidents as well. Um, yeah, it seems like for a while. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, you also, when you get to Area 51... Um, you meet who I think is one of the most crazy scientists that you will ever meet in a film. Um, oh, absolutely stand out in the, uh, in the sci-fi category for, <laughs> for the whacked out scientist. <laughs> yeah. So you have Dr. Brackish Okun, um, and his, uh, he's certainly fascinated, um, with these aliens, uh, and, certainly is the is the right expert uh for the president to be talking about and you know the president goes to area 51 and he finally sees aliens for the first time um yeah it's pretty crazy um just (laughs) having such an underground facility just fly so under the radar for the president to not know about it 
And then oh, yeah, on top of it, you have this crazy <laughs> scientist who nobody knows about. <laughs> yeah, he's so high profile, you've never heard of him. It's one of those guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, what do you think about uh, some of the other outlying characters? Like, um, uh, did you... You know, did you like Mary McDonald's and Marilyn Whitmore? Um, uh, like, yeah, she uh, was she was good. Uh, the <laughs> lady who played um, Jeff Goldblum's wife did a bang up job. I mean, she was she was great. She did a, a really good yeah, job playing the role. Marilyn Whitmore. That's Mary okay. Yeah. And then uh, the president's wife, even though she wasn't big part of it, did a good yeah. job in the role. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vivica A. Fox, pretty stellar performance as far as her performances go. I would say this is top. <laughs> uh, yeah, did right. a great job as Jasmine. Um, actually, so uh, Margaret Colin was actually Consta Spano. Uh, so she was um, Jeff Goldblum's wife. And then Mary McDonald was uh, the first Yeah, that was president. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, so, she, yeah, she did good. She was the. Uh, uh, good character especially to pair up with Vivica A. Fox yeah uh, right <laughs> uh, and um, then the you know that whole side story with uh, with them trying to find their way back to uh, you know safety civilization other people out of the destruction from the uh, that first yeah. blast that hit the city mm-hmm. yeah and then Jelly like the, I wasn't expecting the first lady to die like oh yeah there's real consequences yeah, was, in this movie. I know. I was just, I was, I was totally, you know, the first lady meets up with Vivica, you know, Fox's character, and I was totally expecting them to just get back to their husbands or, you know, Will Smith is husband to be. Um, yeah, just get back to their They're definitely going to make it. They're going to make it. <laughs> but no, they, in this movie, they legit take the first lady away and. What's crazy about that is that Bill Pullman, the president, just literally he grieves for a little bit, and then he, and this is this is why he was such a good president is that he grieves for that short scene, that short while, but he also knows that his wife A and the country need him in this moment. Like his wife knew that his place was not at her bedside right at that moment which was yeah. which was a really cool backstory there yeah he had to be strong for his country strong for his people he had to be the mm-hmm. uh you know the cornerstone or the the pillar that was holding up the nation at that time because it was such a yeah. pivotal moment uh you know in world history let alone u.s history obviously it's fictional but still such a pivotal huge moment yeah. in the history of the world the first ever contact that that we see minus the ones that are captured of you know uh of alien life and and it's a basically an extinction level event Mm -hmm. and he has to come up with a plan execute the plan and then be responsible if if it fails Mm -hmm. uh and and he he does it amazingly he does it so Mm -hmm. well he pulls it off he he you know bill pullman's acting just he he sold it through that uh and makes you feel you know real emotion for the the characters in the movie uh for the 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 wife who's died uh for him for will smith the you know will he be reunited and for all of the lives already lost in the first several attempts on the aliens like yeah he he gets that message across that feeling across so well uh and and just sells it which is yeah. you know kudos to him his, his acting was phenomenal yeah no i i think like i said i think he may be you know the top president in my mind in any in almost any film like probably the closest second would have been um the guy from Olympus has fallen. The president in that one. I like. I like that movie. Um, oh, was that Morgan Freeman in Olympus has fallen? Is that who that was? No, he was the vice president. Um, who's the guy uh, that played Two Face in The Dark Knight? He oh, was Aaron the, Aaron Eckhart. 
Yeah, Aaron Eckhart. He was the president in Olympus is Fallen. Yeah, yeah. He was he was you know amazing in that as well. Yeah, um, he did super super good. But yeah, Independence Day. You know, I would I would rank it pretty high in like my science science fiction. Definitely cracks top twenty. Um, potentially cracks uh, top ten. It's interesting, you know, they made a sequel and I didn't, I've never watched the sequel and I know that it got, um, pretty poor reviews to be honest. And I would say they reviewed it accurately. Yeah, <laughs> um, Unlike this one, it was but, fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess it calls, maybe we could discuss that. Like, do you, do you believe that some of these older films should just be, in the past like why why make oh, stand, a sequel to a, yeah yeah Leave like this let it be a standalone mo- film and don't touch this it this movie this movie stands on its laurels and it's it's a great movie in its own right why that you know i think that's that maybe well there's many issues with hollywood but one of the issues with hollywood is that you know they believe <laughs> yeah, there's that a lot these, of issues. <laughs> these revitalizations of certain ip work um and in this case it showed that it didn't um there are obviously some cases where it does uh for sure like i mean jumanji jumanji was a huge hit um oh my it, gosh they did so well you know, they did so they well did, with the roommates they did, they did a I think, fantastic job i think it worked because unlike with independence day so independence day was an amazing sci-fi film in its own right it was uh, it was unique in the sense that up until that point we hadn't really seen a movie like that. It follows mm-hmm. a lot of the tropes of sci-fi. It followed like War of the Worlds, uh, you know, big alien creatures kill with the virus, alien creatures kill with the virus. You know, follow that one. Uh, a lot of Star Warsy things. You know, hit the hit the beam, they blow up the whole ship. Uh, yeah. But as far as like the movie as a whole, we haven't really gotten something we hadn't really gotten something like that and with independence day resurgence i feel like they were going for that same thing again instead of giving us something new or changing it enough to be interesting you know it was taking the fight to them but there was nothing you haven't seen it yet i have uh i will i will try not to spoil it for you but yeah it was it was essentially uh let's take watch it (laughs) (laughs) it was it was you know let's take the fight to them but then okay. using the same things that they did in this one, you know, the fighter pilots having the relationship, having, uh, you know, a conflict, having this thing that comes up and, and it's, and it's harder than they thought it would be. And then, uh, it was, it was just okay. Uh, and then my other issue with it was they didn't get great actors to, to play the roles. They had Bill Pullman again and Vivica Fox, but then they had, uh, Liam Hemsworth playing one of the pilots. And then, uh, I don't know who the who the they kid, had Goldblum back, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, but it just it it wasn't the same. They tried. I think they tried too hard to make it, mm-hmm. uh, you know, equal to what Independence Day was. Yeah. Uh, whereas Jumanji, you know, the original Jumanji with uh, oh, blanking on his name. Oh my goodness, Robin Williams. Thank you. Uh, I apologize, everyone. How, how dare you? <laughs> uh, so yeah, the original Jumanji. <laughs> oh, really? Can you go sit next to Bubba? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So the original Jumanji was a huge hit. Amazing. You get this board game. Uh, you know, trapped inside is is Robin Williams' character, and he escapes. Yeah. And you have this huge story that plays out, but with the remake, it's uh, it's a comedy. I mean, there's no, there's, there's nothing else about it. It's, it is a comedy. They've got Dwayne Johnson, they've got Jack Black, Chris Hart, and uh, the girl who plays the cyborg in uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Gar- uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but they gave us something completely different and new. Yes, they still went into a video game. But it was no longer that same thing. You know, the video game didn't come to life in their world. They went yeah. in and it gave us a completely different story. And and by making it unique, it it got to sit on its own, uh, you know, pedestal. Unlike Independence Day does. The Independence Day mm-hmm. original, on that pedestal. Way up there. Super good. 
yeah. resurgence just fell. I mean, didn't didn't even come <laughs> close. They they shot for it, but they didn't even come close. And yeah, I gotta say, if you want to watch an Independence Day movie, watch the original. It just holds up to this day. Yeah, I watched it twice now since <laughs> Independence Day, not including the two two times I watched it on Independence Day. <laughs> you watched it twice on Independence Day. I watched it twice on Independence Day. Once when we woke up, that was the first thing we watched that day. And then when our friend's uh, parents came over, they wanted to watch it again. So I was like, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we watched it again. Uh, and then I watched it uh, when we got home. And then I just watched it again today. And uh, I mean, I've watched it four times. And I am I still haven't gotten tired of it. It's fantastic. Yeah, wow. That's, in, that's crazy. Uh, well, any other thoughts on Independence Day? Uh, just, I mean, I was looking at some fun facts. The, uh, the alien goop that they, that they, the foul smelling alien goop was KY jelly. And I thought that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Much, uh, personal lubricant just slathered in those giant alien husks. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of gross. Uh, like I mentioned before, it had nods to Star Wars and War mm-hmm. of the Worlds. They implant the virus. The virus takes down the whole thing. It's a hive mm-hmm. mind deal same as war of the mm. worlds uh star wars you know the uh the shooting it and uh in the right <laughs> the shooting spot it. <laughs> in, in the exact right spot yes mm. and the whole thing blows up you know death star vibes yeah uh but yeah i mean other than that it's just it's fantastic the where they shot the movie um the air base was home to the anola gay which is where the uh the first atomic bomb that was the bomber that dropped it was housed there this is before you know they dropped it but yeah uh so yeah many many scenes were shot at the wendover airfield which is the ex home of the enola gay and that's the first uh, bomber to ever drop an atomic bomb which is pretty cool and also in the movie they drop nukes so it's a little fitting which is fun (laughs) Uh, I was just looking at one other one. Uh, oh, it's the Star Wars reference. Oh, the uh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, they said more than half of his dialogue uh, between Jed Hirsch and Will Smith was all ad lib. So he was just just shooting it straight, straight off the cuff. Oh, dude. Goldblum's it, so good at that. Yeah, and it, it made worked. the final cut. It, like it, All of that is in the movie, yeah. It's, it's just amazing. Yes, I love their... Uh, their back and forth it was just i think it was so good because of that because he would just you know would fire it just well you know okay i guess that's how it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> is that is that what his uh mumbling is and just like him thinking of what to say <laughs> i think so i and it would yeah. make sense uh right. he he has the same line in jurassic park in this the the gotta speed up or gotta go faster yeah. <laughs> uh, which I thought was fun. Um, but yeah, the other thing is uh, what you are touched on many times. Bill Pullman, uh, yo, his speech. His to speech was the, his, amazing. His little, yeah, hype speech oh, beforehand <laughs> uh, was so good. So good. And uh, it is. It's I'm amazing. not even going to attempt to say it because I'll just butcher it. But but it it you know it gives you that that fire that drive and you're just like you're as fired up watching the movie as these people would be experiencing you know in person yeah uh, if it was real you know and i and you just feel that you feel that connection to what you're saying i was i was ready to get into an airplane and fight (laughs) man (laughs) i was ready (laughs) oh man uh well that's Independence Day. Um, I would probably give it 4.5 Bill Pullmans out of 5 Bill Pullmans. What would you give it? Uh, absolutely. A, a 9 Will Smiths out of 10 Will Smiths. <laughs> 9 Will Smiths out of 10 Will Smiths. Okay. <laughs> well, um, whoa, my camera's blurring. Stop moving, Mike. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, well, well, this has been uh, 90s First at the Movies. Um, all you patrons, uh, patrons who are listening to this, please spread the word. Um, 
uh, first and foremost, do that. Um, but secondly, we just want to thank you. Thank you so much for uh, just supporting us uh, so that we can continue creating content for you guys. Uh, so, hey, uh, my name's Mike, and that is Jelly, and we're out. <laughs> Later, everyone. Later. <laughs> All right, uh, pop this thing up and give freedom. it a...